All right, guys, I want to touch on something that I think is very, very important here. And I want all dog owners that hire a dog trainer, every single dog owner to hire, that hires a dog trainer, I want you to listen to this. This is really important. I am not making this for any one specific person. I say that because every time I post something like this, people assume I'm talking about them. This goes across the board, okay? I'm going to go over a go-home letter that I give to my clients after I do a board and train. I've posted this on Facebook. I've allowed people to share it and use it. And for the past five or six years, they have many times. But it's not just a letter. There's meaning behind it. And it's my truth. So I want you to please listen to the whole letter. And then I'll go a little further, okay? This is the go-home letter I give to people. First, let me say thank you. Thank you for trusting me with something so important to you and your family. Thank you for giving me the privilege and opportunity to improve your life, your dog's life, and making your lives together what it should be. It is a responsibility that I do not take lightly. You could have chosen anyone, and you chose me. For that, I am your dog trainer for the life of your dog until they cross the Rainbow Bridge as long as you want me in your life. During your dog's stay with me and my family, he was treated exactly how our own dogs are treated. That means with love, care, respect, and understanding of what they needed to thrive, not just survive. We built a strong bond and relationship before the real work even started. Now we are a team, and in order for us to have true everlasting success, I must pass that on to you. Now it is my responsibility to teach you as much as I can to continue the real progress. Please understand that a dog is not trained in two weeks. A dog is not trained in three, four, or five weeks. It takes time and consistency. With that being said, we can do amazing things in a few short weeks, but it is just the beginning. The foundation is laid and it's strong. We added wanted behaviors and eliminated unwanted behaviors. Most importantly, the dog learned how to learn, and your dog is now a clean slate, ready and willing to please you if you allow it. What I now need from you is this. For best results, your dog needs both mental and physical stimulation on a daily basis. The following four steps will help you continue progress. One, identify and eliminate the bad habits inside the home that most likely created the behavioral issues. Two, replace the bad habits, replace the bad habits with good habits. Three, structure, clarity, rules, and boundaries followed consistently. Four, positive interaction with you through play and formal obedience. The first three take no time out of your day to implement. You're already doing something anyway. Just do the right things now. You're always training whether you know it or not. The dog knows it. Number four takes very little time. Couple of minutes, couple of times a day goes a long way. Real results equal 10% trainer, 90% owner. It is up to me to provide you with the education, information, and opportunity. Keep it simple. There must be consequences for doing right, and there must be consequences for doing wrong. Reward good behavior, whether you ask for it or not. Correct unwanted behavior quickly. If you do not correct unwanted behavior, you are rewarding it. Most of all, enjoy the process, the time that you have together. Okay? It goes fast and they are not with us long enough. Thank you once again on behalf of me and my family for allowing us into your lives. That's the end of the letter, okay? That's about as factual and truthful as I can be. Now, with that being said, the responsibility falls on me, the trainer, to educate the owner as much as possible. All owners are not the same. Some people get it quicker than others. Others are going to struggle. They're just not going to get it. They really have a hard time. And you can go over things over and over and over, okay? You have to keep things simplified enough that it's realistic for that lifestyle. 
Okay, that's the owner's response, the trainer's responsibility. We have to provide people something they can realistically do on a daily basis if you want true everlasting results. With that being said, owners, you have to change your ways. You cannot continue to give your dog excessive freedom that they are not ready to handle. I can't stress that enough. If your dog is under two years of age, and this is just in general, and that dog is running around the house like a lunatic, doing what it wants, when it wants, how it wants, and you have any behavioral issues, I don't care who trains your dog. If you continue to allow that to happen, you're never going to have the dog that you truly want and deserve. And your dog's never going to have the life it truly wants and deserves. You have to make changes, okay? You're a dog trainer. You're not just a dog owner. If you have a dog, you're a dog trainer. And if you are with that dog, you are training whether you like it or not. But you have to ask yourself, are you training for good? Or are you training for bad? So everything you do matters in the dog's eyes. Every time you let it do something you don't like and you don't address it, it's a problem. Okay, it's a problem. I work with all kinds of people. Everything under the sun. I've been doing this a long time and it's been the best education possible for me, right? The people that I get to work with, they're the best educators. You see where the real struggles are. Dog owners, you have to step up. These are not stuffed animals. They're living, breathing, emotional creatures. And you just talking to them in your language makes no freaking sense. There's things here that you have to do. Stop blaming the dog. Dog trainers, there's things you have to do. Stop blaming the client. If your client truly doesn't know something, that falls on us. So I wasn't kidding when I said real everlasting results are 10% trainer, 90% owner. But it's our responsibility to get the owners to where they can provide that 90%. I can go on for hours just about this subject, right? Trainers ask me all the time, how do I find my clients? They say I have the best clients. I do have the best clients, but that doesn't mean we don't struggle, okay? I struggle big time with some of them. They just don't get it. They just don't get it. It's hard, and you have to keep looking for ways to allow it to sink in, and you have to be patient. You have to. You got to be firm, and you have to be, at one point, you're going to have to be a little more demanding of the client. But I don't do that right off the bat. So that go-home letter, it's as truthful as I can be. All right? I'm going to try to refresh it on Facebook today. Feel free to use it. Feel free to, sh to share it. But if we truly all want the same thing for the dogs, I don't care if you're a force-free trainer or a so-called balanced trainer. I don't care what type of training you do. Every dog trainer should want the same exact thing. True everlasting results that last forever in the real world while maintaining the integrity of the animal, putting the animal first. The well-being of the animal should come first. And today, what I'm seeing out there, it's a damn shame. Peace.